Hotel Midnight, the show that kills. Oh, come on. We've got public relations who handle the... Helter thing. Skelter. Could we stay on the issue, please? It used to be a Beatles song. Now all it means is Charles Manson. And that's what will happen. You wanted the worst case scenario. It's us, crazy email guy, and a dead girl in the same sentence over and over. Forever. And we get a lawsuit the size of Antarctica. The network goes bankrupt, none of us work in TV again. So let's over-dramatize, shall we? Everything we just said is entirely possible. Nobody's going to blame us for some nutcase. <laughs> you suppose CNN's just going to give a pass on that one? Not to mention the families of whomever gets killed. The other networks haven't even mentioned it. Not yet. They all think it's a hoax. Well, maybe it is. But if it isn't, you don't think ABC, NBC, and every guy with a web page isn't going to make us the bad guy? The guy who made the threat is the bad guy. And we're the ones who didn't take him seriously. You don't know he's going to kill anyone. I mean, we got fucking nothing to go on here. It's just a guy who says he's going to do it. Could be some ten-year-old for all we know. The FBI is here! And you obviously don't think it's nothing because you're here. There was specific verbiage in the email that made the police take it more seriously. Apparently there's some flags or something that they look for and this guy hit every single one of them. But it could still be nothing. And then we've gone through all this bullshit for no reason. And I don't want the rest of those sons of bitches out there writing a story tomorrow morning about how UBS is playing patty cake with some fucking psycho over a TV show. It's bad enough we're in this situation. We don't need everyone to know how serious it is. How serious it could be. Look, even if he never kills anyone, you don't think it'll get out that we took the risk? You don't think that it'll get out that the FBI was here? Sure, we get death threats all the time, but we think this one's real. And we're still debating what to do? Nobody expects us to negotiate with some fucking loon. Americans watch TV, they go to the movies, they know that you don't negotiate with a terrorist. He's not a terrorist. He's a serial killer. But he hasn't killed anyone yet. Well, he's going to be a serial killer. <laughs> what does that mean? It means he's not Carlos the Jackal, and this ain't Pan Am 103. He's a guy in your town, and every media outlet will make him a star. Every time he kills somebody, they will look at us and ask, why do you keep making him kill? We're not making him kill. We'll go down that hall right now, put in that tape, and this guy'd be happy. And that's what we're going to hear every time he kills that we could have fixed it. We could fix it by pandering to a criminal? Yeah, that's what Americans really like to see. Americans like to blame. Yes! Clifford, what's your suggestion? Well, what have we got? We play the show. We can't play the show. Hold on, just let him sleep. We've got to figure out what our options are. Every option we've got. One, we play the show. And look like chumps. Two, we don't play the show, he kills someone, and we're all fucked. Three, we don't play the show, he doesn't kill anybody, and everyone lives happily ever after. And we pretend how we magically knew all along the threat was a fake. Yes. That's what we should do. Unless he kills someone. Nobody's going to kill anyone over a fucking television show. Are you kidding me? There are 290 million people in this country. People we have spent 50 years training to turn off their brains, turn on their TVs, and love our shows. You don't think it's possible that one of them could just snap? Frankly, I'm surprised it took this long. Now listen to you people. In the very unfucking likely event that this is real, no one is going to blame us. The other networks will know that it could have been them in the exact same boat. But it's not them! We are talking about 50,000 TV stations and newspapers owned by companies that would love to fuck us. And every week that goes by and this guy fucking kills someone, they will make it their job to fuck us. Can you not conceive the public relations apocalypse this will be? Do you not know how much press coverage we'll get every time he kills some girl over this? Why do you keep saying it's going to be a girl? <laughs> because it's going to be someone. It's going to be some guy or some girl, and their face is going to be on every TV screen and every newspaper headline, and it will haunt us in our sleep. But we've done nothing wrong. So, if we run the show, aren't we basically telling this guy he's in control? Yeah. And what if he decides to bring back some other show? I mean, fuck, what if he decides to start creating his own show? 
Here's a show I wrote. Put it on or I'll kill someone. By that time, the cops will have it. And what if they don't? See? Then you fucked us. Some guy in fucking Omaha has taken our pants down and fucked us. Repeatedly. In front of the entire world. What if they never catch him? Don't be ridiculous. No, seriously. You fucking tell me. What if they never catch him? Do we take orders from that guy forever? Obviously not. Why? You've already told him you'll take his shit just as long as he doesn't kill anyone. So why should he stop there? He's got his own fucking TV network to run. He's got some monkeys on a chain that he can make do anything. Now you tell me what happens if they never catch him and you're here every week having to put on Petticoat Junction just so you don't piss him off. I'm not going to be at the whim of some fucking guy who threatens us with emails. I'm sure the authorities would agree. If you play this show, you'll have handed control of a major broadcasting entity over to persons unknown and will have set a very dangerous precedent. Now we feel that we'll have this individual in custody very soon. You don't want to do anything to place your image and your livelihood in the hands of this criminal. And you don't want to send the message that your network is this easy to commandeer. Think of the other people out there with access to grind. You will have every one of them demanding that you accede to their pet wishes or they'll kill someone. Yeah. Have you even considered the copycat factor? Every wacko with a rifle and email account is going to start demanding that we bring back hee-haw or heal off some third graders. And then what? Where does it end? Mr. Porter's correct. You cannot let this set the direction for your network and the way you deal with such issues.